Hello everyone, this is Mang Sang Vee from vlemon.com and I am back with another video and in this video we are going to create a low poly house in Blender and this video is a part of Blender architecture series uh, on which I am working and this is the first video for Blender architecture. Okay, in my first video we are or in this video we are going to create a very low poly house model and in our future video we are going to work on very high or very dense meshes to create a house or to create a two floor or three floor house then we are going to create some buildings high story buildings office complex and so many stuffs we are going to cover in this series so let's start this first video by opening a new blender window and I want to reload the startup file and for creating a house first I am going to use the default cube so let me go in the front view and change my camera to orthographic and now I want to change the set position of this cube so I am going to press G and then Z and I think this is the perfect location for my cube okay and it's time to modify or scale this cube so it will look like a house so let's start in front view and let me enable my sc screen cast key so you are able to see which keys I am pressing during this tutorial okay let's start and I want to scale this in X direction first so I think this is perfect and then I am going to from the right view I am going to scale its y direction. I hope you are aware about the basics of the blender, how to perform a scale, how to rotate your object and so on. I am assuming you are uh, know about the basics of blender. Okay, no issue. Now from the front view, I am going to I am going to change my mode and I am in now edit mode and now box select the top vertices and if you are able to notice I am not able to select my back vertices or the not visible vertices I want to select all my vertices at the top level so let me change the selection or the limit selection to not visible vertices and now I am able to select the back vertices also and let me show the difference between the limit of selection uh, currently I am able to select non visible vertices also and if I am going to disable this I am not able to see the non visible vertices or the vertices is just behind this face and even I am not able to select the back vertices but I don't want this way here so I'm again toggling the limit of visibility and then finally I am going to select everything now I want to change the height of my house so that's why I selected the top surface of my cube and then I am going to change its Z direction and I think this is perfect height for a house ok and now our base is created for house or home and I am going to use different method to create a house in my first method I am going to use a solidify and then perform um, and apply a boolean modifier in our house so let's duplicate or let's create a duplicate of this cube so we are going to use this cube in cube to create uh, another house with different matter okay I am going to shift D to duplicate your object and then press escape key or change the selection so let me undo my changes and now I have only one cube one cube is available so shift T and right click to unselect this and or the unselect the transformation and now press M and move this object or selected object in different layer so I want to move this object in layer 2 ok now I am going to work on this cube 
and let me rename my cube so this is my house underscore one and this cube must be a house underscore two no issue I'm ready to make other changes and in my first method I have to create some more objects so go in front view and let me hide this cube so you are able to see what I am going to add and I want to add a mesh cube and let's change its Z oh sorry grab press Z and the Z and change its Z direction and I want to scale this in X and scale it in Z little bit uh, no I think this is perfect for our goal okay finally from the right view I am going to scale its Y position Y size I think this is perfect okay this is my door and let me change its Y direction I think this is perfect and I am going to unhide my home and let's position our door so it will intersect with our home and it's your choice whether you want to create a door and if you want in the middle then you can place it place this cube here if you want a door here then you can place the door here okay uh, so let's place the door in at the right most corner it's time to add few windows so let me duplicate the same cube shift D to duplicate and I want to move this in X direction so I pressed X key okay, no issue and I want to change its size in Z direction okay and finally I'm going to move this just here I think this is the perfect location for a window okay I think this one is perfect now I want to create two windows here so let me okay let's duplicate this window and grab this in X direction rotate this in Z direction and I'm going to rotate it 45 degree no sorry I want to rotate this in 90 degree oh 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 sorry let me again go in front view or press R and then press 9 0 again I forgot to select the set axis so press R I want to rotate this cube in Z or along Z axis so press Z and 9090 okay. and I think this is perfect and I want to position this cube in such a way that I am able to intersect my main so it is able to intersect this cube is able to intersect our main house and from the left view I am going to scale its scale this cube in y direction and let me place this here why I am scaling because I want two windows in on this side of house and I am just now I press ok let me show you once more ok my cube is settled now and I want to create a duplicate of this so press shift D to duplicate and I want to move this in Y direction and I think this is perfect location for the window let me see whether I think it is a perfect location ok finally our house or our home is created ok uh, no this is not the final version of our home one uh, we have to modify some we have to apply some modifier 
so let me first rename all the cubes so this is a door no issue and then this is a window window underscore one or you can say window front and this time I have to rename this so let's say window side underscore one and this is window underscore side underscore two okay great it's perfect and finally I want to add some modifier so my cube is selected and I want to add a solidify modifier and here it is solidify and I want the thickness for this is 0.1 okay and then finally we are going to apply a boolean modifier and first I'm going to select door object and if you are able to notice uh, our main structure of the or the main object of home is just disappear uh, why because the boolean modifier is applied on my main mesh and in this he is performing a intersect operation so all the area which is intersecting right now with this object door and our main body is only selected I don't want this behavior so I am going to change its operation to difference and now let me hide this cube by pressing H and this is the final output so I just differentiate or perform a different operation on my main object and the door object here and if I am going to remove this my face is scam again and I don't want this so again I'm going to add the boolean modifier select the door and I want the operation to be a difference perfect and let's unhide our door let's perform or add again the boolean modifier for our three windows so quickly boolean I want a difference operation I want to select window front this is done for okay sorry this is done for our this is done for our window front window H2 height and now you are able to see Alt H to unhide everything and again I want to mod apply the same modifier two more times for my side windows the operation is a difference again window and difference and this time I'm going to select this okay let's select all your windows and door and press H look good okay no issue alt h to hide and I'm going to create select everything or select your cube and three windows in one door and press shift D to duplicate and I'm going to move these objects in this layer okay so this is the backup of my mesh because I want I'm going to perform I'm going to apply all this so let me apply this solidify and then I want to apply this in our front window and our uh, side window one and another side window two okay and let's 
like this and this is my final mesh okay now it's time uh, this is the placeholder for windows and it's time to create a window for this location and for this we are going to use all this mesh and let me select this and let's press S and X to scale this in X direction and I'm going to scale it 0.1 and let me change its X position okay let me change it X position uh, with point 0.1 I think yeah point 0.1 is looking good I'm going to perform the same operation scale this in X direction and press point 0.1 from your keyboard and then press C G for God and then scale this in X direction oh, no sorry press G and then you have to move this in X direction and the amount is 0.1 I'm going to perform the same thing here so let me scale this in Y direction now and let me scale it in 0.1 and then I'm going to move this in y direction and let's say point 0.1 and it's look perfect let's perform the same step for door scale in y direction point 0.1 and now you have to move your object in y direction and let's say point 0.1 ok it's look great and you have to select your own values for me point one is not looking great so let me select these two objects and position it uh, why I'm positioning it uh, if you are able to notice I am able to see the inside area of my house through this gap so I want to fill this gap by repositioning my I hope you are able to see. Okay. Okay. I think now you are able to see. Right. From this gap, I am able to see the inside area of my house. And I don't want this. So I am going to reposition my this window and get. Okay, no gap for the side windows. Okay, it's perfect. Now our house is ready. And it's time to apply some material to our house. So let's create a material, a new material. Okay, uh, let me select my house first and I'm going to add a material. I'm going to name it M underscore M for material concrete and let me change its ok I think this is good finally I want to add a um, material for my door so M underscore door or let's say M underscore wood ok it is great and then I want this to be a uh, brown color darkish brown I think this is good and let me turn off the specularity for my house and uh, finally it's time to apply some material for our window so let me select my first window and then I'm going to add a new material let's name it and underscore glass let me turn on a specularity. I want its intensity one. I want to enable the transparency and let me change it alpha value let's say 0.3 and I want some refraction. So I'm going to enable the mirror modifier and let's say 0.3 is again good for this let's 
save our work first and F data documents projects blender architecture and I am going to name it to poly house tutorial ok perfect save your blender file and let me change the viewport shading I want to it a render and I think the default light default sunlight is not enough to light our thing <coughs> okay sorry guys for the pause and now I want to change my viewport in solid mode and I am going to add a light lamp and select hemisphere rotate it a little bit I think this is the perfect and let's try once more change the viewport setting to render and I think I am able to see everything perfectly ok so this is my door and my window and uh, yeah. the window is transparent I am able to see the inside room ok let's change the view port again to solid and this time I want to apply the same material for my other two windows so M plus M plus perfect and again let me switch and first I'm going to show my file render and let me just create an experiment just uh, here I want to add a mesh cube and let me place this cube just here scale it in y direction and scale it in z direction and just give this cube a material so add a new material and just say a wall and I'm going to give it the speculity is 0 intensity 100 and I want a reddish color ok no issue let me change its x direction a little bit and again I am going to change the viewport shading to renderer and I think you are able to see the red this red cube through the windows ok perfect and here is the shadow I don't want this cube anymore so I'm going to in solid mode and just X and delete perfect our first house is created and in our first house we use some uh, modifiers and the modifiers name are is solidify and boolean ok let's see uh, switch the layer to layer 2 and in this we are going to use another method to create the house ok and let me add or first I want to change my 3d cursor position reset all to default and I want to add a lamp to light this layer change it rotate it in X perfect and now I want to switch front view and press tab to edit this home or this house ok let's create a edge loop by pressing ctrl r and I want to add two edge loops ok and now I am going to place my door position just here unselect everything by pressing r and create a horizontal loop cut and I think this is perfect height for my door ok press a to unselect everything and I want 
to select this face so I am changing the selection method to face and I don't okay uh, it is perfect and let me extrude this face extrude this face and I want to extrude this in the house perfect my door is created and now I have to create a window on this face so for this again select this face press E to extrude and don't change anything uh, undo this transformation by pressing right click and now I'm going to scale this okay sorry I want to scale this I think this is perfect and let me scale this in X so I think this width is perfect and I want to change its set direction okay this is the perfect location for a window let me press E to extrude this selected face and I want to extrude this in the back direction okay now I am going to perform the same stuff for this side so let me change my view and this is right view and if you are able to see any difference between the width and in the position or y position of these faces of door and the window then you can change it but for me I think it is matching perfectly so I don't want to change the position of either a door or window ok finally uh, from the right view unselect everything and I want to add a edge loop here and I don't want to perform any operations so just press escape key or right key right click and now sorry and now I am going to select the f this face and this face press E to extrude and right click to undo the transformation I don't want to perform any transformation on it let's scale it ok uh, let me select this first this face first and let me scale this and if you are able to see ok he, uh, here uh, the 18.3 I don't want to scale this in and I want to scale the both the window for same size so I am going to note the scale for this first window and I think we have some problems so let me undo everything okay now select this left area and extrude it right click to not perform any transformation on my extruded face again I want to press S and scale this with let's say 0.5 and I think 0.5 is looking good press enter to confirm the transformation and select the this face again E to extrude and I think I want to scale this with 0.5 perfect now these two windows is with exact size no issue I want to change the position of these two window and finally we are going to perform an extrude operation and I want to extrude this in bird great our house 
is created with the second method. And it's time to apply material to our house. Let's this is default selected so concrete is already applied to this cube and then I want to add a new material and in this I am going to select M board and by selecting the material in the edit mode select this and select M board and assign this is my door and select this face select this three face add a new material and in this I am going to select M glass and click assign finally it's time to save our work and I am going to change the viewport setting to renderer and it's looking perfect and I am able to see my door through my window ok again in solid mode this is my first house or this is my second house now in my third layer I am going to use a plane to create a house and let me go in the top view first so press 7 to top view let me add a lamp and this so let's say hemisphere from the front view change its position Y position and rotate it in X little bit and I want to change it by direction also ok perfect and from the top view I am going to add a plane mesh plane perfect scale this 2.1 and this is the width of my walls and I'm going to edit this plane press tab to go in edit mode and I'm going to use a modifier let's say add modifier and I want a mirror modifier let me change the position of this plane okay I think this is the perfect position for these two planes and I'm going to apply this modifier okay I want to go in object mode apply this modifier again I am in edit mode and shift D to duplicate this two plane and I want to duplicate it in Y direction so I'm going to place this two plane in just here okay finally I'm going to change my selection method and this is the edge selection method select these two edge create a face between these two edge I want to create a edge between these two edge and I want to create ok unselect everything select two edge and create a face between this finally I want to create a edge between these two edge perfect ok and let me add a two edge loop on this face and I want to position my door just here and finally I want to add two edge loop on this face and this is for my window perfect and you can scale this in x direction as per your window width I think this is perfect this is perfect and let me select everything and from the front view I am going to extrude this so let me extrude this and I think 0 0.1 is perfect and now I don't want to extrude this face so let me go in face selection mode I don't want to extrude this face because I want to create a gap for my door ok perfect I am ok I forgot to add edge loop here on side because uh, I want to add two windows in my side view ok let me first select everything from my 
back side and I want to change its y direction a little bit so I want some gap here so I want to create two windows in this okay what I want if you move in layer 2 move in layer 2 so I want okay uh, why not this time create two windows in back side okay perfect okay by mistake uh, I moved my this plane in layer 2 so let me move it back to layer 3 okay this is my plane uh, in edit mode I want to add windows to windows in the back side so let me create four edge loop and I think this is the perfect location for two windows and if you want to change the face of this lane or the distance between two windows then you can change it and let me go in back view okay in top view I want to change the gap between these two window so how to change select this control E to open special menu for edge and then select edge slide and I want to slide this in X direction control I will select everything from the type again I am going to select edge slide or uh, I select or grab G grab this in X direction I think this is the perfect location select everything and from the top view I don't want to extrude this face this face because I want to create a door okay extrude your why 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 something is wrong control Z extrude something is wrong okay unselect everything Select this face. Oh, 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 sorry, guys, sorry, guys, sorry, guys. Ah, uh, I have to select only the top layer. Sorry, really, I don't want this. Okay, finally, I don't want this face, so unselect this face from the front view. Extrude this. I think this is the perfect location, and from here I want to create windows for my house perfect okay extrude this and now my windows are created and let me grab this in Z direction okay I think this is the perfect size for window and this time to close these windows I am going to select in edge mode select this to edge press F to create a face select this to edge press F to create a face select to this to edge and press F to select a face ok perfect and from the front view I am going to select everything I am going to select everything ok and it's time to extrude this and if you are able to notice something is wrong here so we are going to fix it later but for the time being uh, this is the perfect size for my door so I am going to close my door by selecting this to edge and this edge and this edge press I have to create a face ok and I don't want wireframe mode ok perfect and 
I want to select everything from the top and it's time oh, oh. I want to select everything from the top everything is selected and from the front view extrude it a little bit okay perfect so my body the body for the house is created okay no issue and now here is some issue with the normals of the faces so I am going to select these faces so let me go in edit mode I don't want to visible the other vertices change the selection mode to face select all this face press W for special menu and from the special menu I'm going to say flick normals okay perfect and I have some gaping here again I want to change the selection to edge selection select this to edge press F to create a face between these two select this edge and select this edge to create a face perfect I want to create I want to select this and this to create a face I want to select this and select this to create a face perfect it's time to create a floor so for this I'm going to add a plane and scale this perfect my floor is created and finally I want to add a roof so shift a to add a cube and place this just here change its set direction and from the front oh, from the front view unselect everything box like this to let me change the selection mode okay perfect and grab set to change its size in Z direction and finally I'm going to change my selection to vertex selection mode and my snap element is a vertex and I'm going to change the position or press G and control click my this vertices and the vertices of the main body of house is now perfectly at the same location same thing I want to perform for this grab C same thing select this vertices for the cube G control snap this to the corner vertices G and no the wrong vertices selected I want to select this for the cube <coughs> perfect okay and if you want to change the shape of the roof then you can change it you have multiple option select this face from the transform menu I want to merge this at center so it is a pointed roof or you can see or scale this in this way or you can undo this changes and for select this edges and perform the G operation in X and Y and control and snap so this is my perfect cube now grab and change its position in X and Z direction uh, X and Y direction so how I'm going to perform this step press G and shift Z and now you are able to see the y-axis and z-axis and I want to snap this at this location again press G I want to change its x and y direction I don't want to change its z direction so I'm going to press shift, uh, shift, shift and Z key and I want to snap this just here okay perfect and now I have a roof and inside this roof I'll go in the front view 
unselect everything from the top select everything and okay let me select this first in the front view change its z direction and now I want to create or I want to extrude this and scale it I think this is perfect and again I want to extrude this in in direction so this is the third way to create a roof finally uh, we have to okay, finally we have to create doors and for this I'm going to select this two face or uh, select this face shift D to duplicate and then extrude and control to snap here and select this face and control L to select everything in this mesh and scale it in Y direction I want to perform the same step for this and shift D to duplicate extrude and control snap select this face control L to select everything in this mesh uh, this mesh is for window and scale it in Y direction I want to perform the same step for this shift D to duplicate extrude in Z direction control and snap this just here Control L to s select everything available in this mesh. Okay, scale it in Y direction. Uh, scale this in Y direction. Perfect. Shift D to duplicate. Extrude this just here. Con select the face of the mesh and then you have to press Control L and scale this in Y direction. Finally, it's time to apply some material to our mesh. So select everything or select your house or select everything. And I want to add material. And first, I'm going to use my concrete material for everything. And it's time to select your door select the face of the door and then press ctrl L to select everything available in this mesh or door mesh add a new material and I'm going to use existing embed material and click on assign same thing I'm going to perform for this window okay first I'm going to select this the front face of the window ctrl L to select everything in the mesh and then I want to add a new material in this I want I am glass and then finally I'm going to use assign select this window control L to select everything inside this window and assign M glass select the front face of this window control L to select everything in this window everything is selected for my window and M glass and assign finally it's time to save my game Oh, sorry, sorry. Finally, it's time to save my Blender file. And let me change to the renderer. And I think I'm able to see through. Okay, this is my front window, and this is the back window. Perfect. And finally, before closing this video, I want to add some roofs for my first two house and let me select the first house and for the first house let me change uh, the mod to edit mode select this edit mode select this face extrude this face perfect from the front menu I'm going to change its height and finally I'm going to press alt M and I want to merge this at center okay and for this four faces I want to change the material okay so I want to assign this a new material and I want to use M ball assign it okay it is it is looking good 
and for my second house I am going to perform the same step I am going to ok so we have lots of stuff in this so let me ok uh, <laughs> let's extrude this and I want to perform alt M alt M ok uh, something is wrong so everything is selected merge and etc and if you think it is not in the center location then you can change the position of this I think this is the center location great and Z perfect perfect and let me select uh, let me assign a different material for this I'm going to in edit mode face selection select these faces okay perfect add new material and I'm going to use M wall assign it perfect uh, this look perfect now and I want some variation in this so let me undo few changes select this house and from the front view I don't want this X vertices, uh, vertices. I want to delete everything uh, no something is wrong ok so X delete this vertice and select this and this and this and this and create a face ok perfect now I am going to select this face and I want to extrude this multiple times ok let me go in the front view extrude it in Z direction scale it in X direction extrude this in Z direction scale it in X direction extrude in Z direction grab Z mm, scale it in X direction so I want a curve shape for my roof so that's why I extrude in Z direction scale it in scale it in X direction so I think it's look like a curve and I want to change the scale of Y direction also for each layer or each scale it in my direction okay alt select to select this loop scale it in my direction and when it's time to select this scale it in my direction So I want this uh, curve look. Uh, okay, this is perfect. Uh, it is not looking good, but uh, I don't want this. But I'd want to show you the different way to create a roof. That's it. Okay, and let me select everything from the top. Everything is selected. Ah, uh, no. I want to change my selection. Okay select everything and I want to assign this M wall oh perfect ok uh, that's it for this video uh, I want to show how to create your low poly house with different methods and I hope you enjoyed this session and thank you for watching guys and see you guys in my next